Hi everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah and I'm going to be starting to do beauty related and lifestyle content and also a little bit of fashion here and there. So if you are interested, please go ahead and subscribe and I would greatly appreciate it. And today I'm just going to do a little bit, I guess, of a chit chat, get ready, like using newer products that I have. And yes, I look like a boy whenever I have my hair up like this, so it's fine. So yeah, we're just going to get into some new products. Awesome, and oh, I forgot to wet my beauty blender. So I'll be right back, hold on. Starting off with like a priming situation, I've been using these two, I guess this is technically not a primer, but it's fine. I've been using the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer and I literally love this stuff so much. I've gone through so much as you can tell probably and then i also have been using the charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter for a superstar youth glow and i use the shade number two and a lot of people thought that this was like a foundation whenever it first came out but it's technically like a liquid highlighter uh, it's not very intense or anything like that so i just like to just kind of put it like on the temples and just just kind of like wherever I would normally like apply highlighter and it really does help to like give a luminous look to the skin because I don't want anything like too intense like a super metallic liquid highlight for underneath my eyes or like for anywhere and then I apply the Tatcha like on my t-zone where I need some pore minimizing and then also on my forehead just to get an even base and I do notice that it just helps make my makeup look a lot more smooth and it just looks a lot better and this stuff smells so good I literally love it I've had it for about six months and I've just now started to like hit the bottom um, but it's not anything too bad and I still have a ton of products so it's great that it lasts a super long time as well okay and then for foundation I'm going in with the beauty blender bounce foundation um, I really really like the shade and the formula is really really good for me I've been trying to lay outside and get some color so it's kind of the struggle so like my chest is like a little bit darker than what it normally is but then like my neck because <laughs> I normally wear a hat or something like that whenever I lay out because I don't want sun damage so I normally never get much color on like my um my neck or chest but thankfully my neck is a little bit darker so that's good and then I'm just going to apply that all over and then I also have the what is it called the Huda Beauty Tantor or something like that and to try out because I have been using that for like the past like week or so because I got it in the mail and I literally love it it is so good and it's nice because it has like a more of like a it's like confusing because the name is called tan tour so it's like tan and contour so you can get like a nice tan look but also look like you have just contoured as well so it's a nice like universal shade
Okay, and then next up for concealer, I've been loving this combo lately. It is the um, e.l.f. I think it's this, yeah, it's a 16 hour uh, camo concealer and it is in the shade medium sand. This is a really great neutral shade. It's not anything too bright. And the reason why I use this one is because I use the um, Jeffree Star um, Magic Star concealer and this is absolutely bomb, but it is way too light. I got a really, really light shade. This is in the shade C4. So this shade is way too light to use on its own. So I kind of have to use something a little bit warmer and darker just to kind of make sure that I don't have like a super stark under eye. And then just while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and set my under eye concealer with the Jeffree Star um, powder. And this is in the shade Fair and it smells literally amazing. I literally love this powder so much. And then for to set the rest of my face, I use the Cover FX um, Perfect Setting Powder. And this is in the shade, what is it? Translucent Light. So they have a translucent light and then they also have a translucent dark, I believe. So I'm going to use those two really quickly just to finish the rest of my face up. And then next up for brows, I'm actually going to do this off camera just because it's super annoying and nobody really wants to watch somebody do their brows. But I'm going to use the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Taupe. And then just to clean them up, I'm also going to use a little bit of the um, NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the shade Creme Brulee. And then just to set them, I also use the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel and I will be right back. Okay, and then I just had my brows done. They literally took forever, so probably good that I didn't film them but um, next for eyes I went ahead and primed my eyes with that same NARS concealer and I'm not gonna set it just because I've been liking a more um, creamier base or like not setting my eyeshadow or not setting my primer or anything like that just because it has been helping to make my like shadows go on a lot more pigmented and whatnot so for eyeshadow I'm gonna use I think both of the Huda Beauty um, obsession palettes but this is the warm brown and then I believe yeah this is the more warm one and then I also have the Mauve Obsession one. So I'm probably going to use a combo of these two because I really, really like them. And they're super simple. So I think I'm going to use that today. And then to start, I actually think I'm going to go... Oh, there's a hair on my arm. It's driving me crazy. Um, I think I'm going to... Where's my bronzer? Well. Hello. I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty bronzer in the shade Shady Biz. That's hard to say. And I'm going to use that as just kind of like a transition color all over my lid just because this is like one of my favorite colors at the moment. And I really, really love these bronzers. They're super, super blendable. And I have been using them for like the past few weeks. So I've definitely gotten a lot of use out of them. So I'm just going to pop that in. Just like that. Should I like zoom you in like a tiny bit? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe. Is that okay? I don't know. We're gonna try it. So I'm just uh, gonna blend that bronzer in just a little bit just to help blend with any shadows that we put on later on, which we are gonna put just a few more, but not anything crazy. And then I also like to take, let's see here. This is like a super big and obnoxious brush to use for it, but this is a Milani, uh, it doesn't have a number on it, but it's like one of like the mini like travel size ones. I just take a little bit of that bronzer and I also just run that underneath my eye just to give it a little bit of definition and that helps just to make it super seamless. They also do have a smaller, um, like lower lash line brush and I normally use that but I also like this one too just because it gets it done super quick Okay, and then next I'm gonna go in with the warm brown obsession ones uh, or the warm brown obsession palette And I think I'm gonna take this shade right here 
just to like start building in a little bit of a darker crease and to just add a little bit more dimension to the look. See that already is kind of helping like add a little bit more depth just because it is a slightly darker color and that can make a big impact. So I'm just again like repeating the same steps as far as like the blending but I'm just keeping it a little bit lower than I did the uh, Fenty color. So again I'm just blending that out and then sometimes if it is like a little bit too harsh and it's not blending out the best and you can easily just take like a lighter shade um, like that and just take the tiniest bit and kind of go over it like uh, closer to the brow just so that way it helps it really really blend out that shade. All together and then again I like to always start on the outer corner and then just slowly start bringing it in and fluffing it out I'm going to take a little bit more of a precise brush this is a Morphe M330 and it looks just like this. this is a little bit more of a petite brush and then I'm going to take a little bit of this darker purple and then this more uh, like muted red shade and I'm just going to lightly take those and then start to sweep that and apply that on the outer corner just like that and then try to keep it a little bit lower but not anything like too high but just like keeping it a little bit lower so it's like mainly on the outer corner just like that and then I'm just going to continue to blend that out and then once I have like less product on the brush then I'm just going to start bringing it inwards a little bit more And since I do have hooded eyes, I do have to kind of take any like lid color or any darker color a little bit higher than somebody else who like has like naturally not very hooded eyes. So I do kind of have to be a little bit more strategic with the placement or whatnot and see like that has gone a little bit out too far. So then I'll just take again a clean blending brush and some of that lighter color and just kind of start sweeping it out like that and do like a circular motion that already helps to meet it out some and then take a little bit of that Fenty shade and just start to blend that out and you can see that's already helped blending it out a lot more. So I've been really liking the look of a halo eye where you kind of have the dark on the inside and the um, very inner corner. I'm sorry, outside and the very inner corner and then just having the light in the center. So I'm just going to take a little bit more of that um, dark berry shade and that um, more muted red. And I'm just going to lightly apply that on the inside. Okay, for some reason my camera died, which is really, really stupid and annoying, but we're just not going to talk about it. So I am going to use for my lid color, I'm going to use this NARS um, Duo and I don't know what... I can't pronounce the name but it's that that's what it says I don't know if you can read it but then I'm gonna use the gold shade out of the two and I'm just going to only apply that in the center of the lid and this is kind of like mimicking like a um, like a halo eye or um, just kind of like a half cut crease or something like that where I'm only applying the light in the center um, and I really, really like how it looks and it's super like pretty and it definitely looks a lot different than just like applying it all over the lid like you normally would. It definitely looks better on my eye shape, I feel like. I mean, I definitely do a typical look still of like just applying it all over the lid and not doing that darker inner corner, but I feel like it definitely looks really, really pretty whenever I do it like this. So it's definitely my new like favorite way of doing my eyeshadow since I have been like experimenting with how it looks and all that kind of stuff and like my preferences and whatnot so and then this personally is just like a personal preference kind of thing but I really like doing a powder liner and I kind of have to whenever I do my lashes so I'm just going to take that darkest shade of the Huda Beauty palette and I'm just going to take a super detailed liner brush and I'm just going to kind of do a soft liner application um, just to kind of give my eye a little bit more dimension and it just kind of like brings a lot more attention like if you can already see like a little bit of the difference where it's just like yeah there is some fallout but just like you can see like it adds just a little bit excuse me more <laughs> more attention to this eye and then this one is just like kind of washy but this makes it look a little bit more impactful 
and then I just kind of like to start blending it up as well just a tiny bit and then I also will just like run it over my finger just to give it like a more smoky appearance And then I'm just going to quickly brush away any fallout from that dark uh, liner shade and then just dust that off so that way I don't use a dirty brush the next time that I go to do my powder with that. So I'm going to next apply mascara. This is the Too Faced uh, Better Than Sex Mascara. And then I also am going to apply a lashes and then you're going to make fun of my lashes but I really don't care. These are the My Lash Lashes, and you literally can only find them at like TJ Maxx or Marshalls. They're the best things ever, and they're literally $5.99, and they're so freaking pretty. I do have a pair that's already cut, um, if you can see, and they're kind of a little dingy because I have worn them once already, but they're super, super pretty. They're not anything too intense. They're literally just like add a little bit of length and volume because my lashes are so short and pitiful, so... I'm going to quickly apply mascara, apply lashes off camera, and then I will be right back. Okay, I am back with lashes on. Literally makes the biggest difference in the world. It is hands down like one of my favorite steps. And then next I'm going to kind of contour. I didn't, this is like, I can't, I can't talk. So a lot of people kind of do this step a little bit differently. It's just kind of like a personal preference kind of thing. I like to contour first and then apply my bronzer. And I'm going to use this Marc Jacobs. And this is the, what is this? The High Five Filter Instamark Contour Highlight Duo. And I'm just going to use that little bit of a darker, cooler shade. And I'm firstly going to go in and contour the sides of my nose because... My nose is crooked and I don't like it so I do what I can to try to like make it look a little bit smaller and like a little bit cuter but it doesn't do a ton but we're just gonna do what we can and then I always contour my bottom lip and then I normally like to take that um, nose contour and kind of like fluff it into kind of like where I put that darker like inner part of the eye like I don't know how to explain that very well and I'm just gonna take a little bit more of a concentrated brush and contour my cheeks just a little bit hit my jawline a little bit as well and then after I finish the contour I just move on to my bronzer next so there we go and then for a bronzer I'm also gonna use the same Fenty bronzer that I actually used in my crease and then I'm going to take this is an It Cosmetics, um, it was like in a set uh, exclusive from Ulta and it's just basically like a duo fiber brush. I literally love this brush so much and I'm just going to apply it a little bit higher and kind of more on like all over my cheeks just to like give it a really pretty bronzy look because that is my favorite thing and I love bronzer. Bronzer is my favorite part of my whole makeup routine and it's like the best thing ever. I probably go a little ham with it sometimes but survive so and if this is like the grossest thing ever um if you hear farting noises um or anything like that it is my chair it is um needs to be replaced it is kind of old and it creaks whatever I sit on it because it's an old desk chair and then if you hear rain it is like literally downpouring outside so I do apologize but these are just the circumstances that we're working with we're gonna make it work okay okay and then for blush my favorite part and the most important part in my opinion where's my blush well I have to find it first okay this is one of my favorites this is the Bobbi Brown shade um, Antigua I can't pronounce it but it's technically a bronzing powder but then look at this like how is this a bronzing powder I literally don't understand but I take it with this um it's kind of like an angled contour brush from Morphe I also got this in a set so I don't think they sell this individually but I just kind of apply that more so on my cheeks and just kind of pat it and I do like swirling and patting motions just to get a nice blend 
And I do kind of go overboard with my blush as well, just because a lot of people don't believe this, but my blush fades a lot. Like a lot of people, I feel like that's like the first thing to fade on somebody is their blush. So I definitely apply a little too much, but in like 10, 15 minutes, I promise you it will chill out and it will fade a little bit. So yeah, that is how it is looking. I love it so much. It is my favorite color ever. So pretty. Okay. And then my highlighting routine is a little bit, it's not excessive, but it's whatever. I really don't care. So I use for like a base highlight, I use the Flesh Boost Highlight or Flesh Highlight in the shade Boost. And this is a more like natural, um, like glow from within kind of highlight. I really, really like it. I feel like it's super natural and it's not like anything like chunky or if you have like a lot of texture, this highlight would be perfect for you because it's not anything too intense or abrasive. Like you can see like it's just a really pretty, like more on the natural side of a highlight. And then I just kind of apply that some on my upper lip. And I just kind of like to bring it around my temples because I hate like when you have like a stripe of highlight and it's not blended. So I try to blend it out as best as I can. And just do that. And then we're not done, okay? This is a process, like I said. It's excessive, but I love it. So we're just gonna keep doing it. I'm going to take the beloved Jeffree Star highlighter in the shade Sarcophagus. This is one of the best highlights ever. It is kind of like a champagne, kind of gold, kind of peach. I love it more than anything ever. And I like to just plop that on my inner corners and just kind of like go a little ham with it because it's my favorite thing ever. And then I always do a brow bone highlight just because I feel like it ties everything in and it just like, especially if you have a good like um, cheek highlight, I feel like it's really, what is in my hair? What? I feel like it's good to do like a nice brow bone highlight to tie that in. And then I take a more concentrated brush and then I go back in on my cheeks and there we go. That's the impactful, like, more intense highlight. That's what I like to do is I just kind of like to have, like, a more lit from within glow. And then where I really want it to be super concentrated, I just apply it, like, right there, like, on the tops of my cheekbones. Just because I don't want it to be too intense and, like, have, like, a super metallic cheek. But where I do want it to be intense, that's the only place I want it to be intense. If that makes any sense. That was really long and... I didn't explain that very well, but it's okay. And then lastly for my lips, I know I have foundation on my lips. It's whatever. It's a personal preference whenever I do my makeup. I just like to have a super clean base to start off with. And then I always, whenever I like start whatever lip color I want to wear, I always put on my Nivea Raspberry Rose Kiss Chapstick because this is the best thing in the world. And I just take a little bit of that and just plop that on because I stay putting on chapstick and I can't live without it kind of a thing and then just for again because my lips are very very obnoxiously pigmented where's my foundation brush um here we go because my lips are so obnoxiously pigmented I like to tap over them just a tiny bit just to mute them out the tiniest bit because like I said they're obnoxiously pigmented and they kind of get on my nerves so and then I am literally the most excited because I have these in. These are the Jaclyn Hill. What are they even called? Do they have like a fancy name? They're the Jaclyn Hill Jaclyn Cosmetics lipsticks. And I am so excited. I have literally been watching her for like four or five years now. Like literally obsessed. And I have been waiting for these. And I got these shades Nude AF. And then this one is Amaze Balls. I'm really excited for Nude AF. But I'm going to try them out both. I think I'm just going to. And then I always have to line my lips. Just because I feel like it ties everything in. And I like to overline them. Because my lips are small. So I use the ColourPop Beeper Lip Liner. And I do overdraw just a little bit. And it is a little bit of a darker 
lip liner. I think this actually used to be my mom's and I gave it to her. Like I bought it for her and then she was like, I don't really like it. But then I thought the color was super pretty. And let's try, should I try both? Let's just do it. This is the shade of, no, I'm sorry, Amaze Balls. We're gonna try Amaze Balls first because it looks so good. Oh, these smell so good. Mmm. Oh. Oh, <laughs> this is so. Oh my God, what did I do? Do you see that? That is not cute. Okay, we need to fix that ASAP. -o. What in tarnation is going on around here? Do you see that? I like drastically messed up. Uh, but it's fine. Okay, look, it's fixed. There we go. But look how pretty that, oh, that color. Oh, that is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay. And then I want to take a little bit of Nude AF and just like put it in the center purely to see what it would look like. Oh, these are so creamy. Oh, that's new, girl. Mmm. I like that a lot. Oh, that is nude. And my lips. Oh, girl. Oh wow, she's ready. This looks so good. Oh my God, I love this so much. So this is, I guess the end of my everyday, I guess everyday makeup routine whenever I wear makeup. This is normally what I do. I normally, yes, I always wear a lash if I have like a full face on. That might be a lot to some people, but I literally love it and it's one of my favorite things ever. So. I'm so happy you decided to watch today's video. If you made it this far, you were literally awesome because it's a wild roller coaster if you have not been able to tell so far. So again, be sure to like and subscribe and um, leave a comment if you are curious about anything or if you have any questions. I should have everything that I used listed in the down bar down below. I will also have my social media links and thank you so much for watching. Bye.